Hey guys, this is Derek Erigwin here, and today I'm going to take you through a five-step tutorial on how to use Keynote or PowerPoint to turn your laptop into a teleprompter. This is a key point if you're looking to script your videos as you transfer from how-to videos like this one to the real deal when you're standing in front of the camera. So let's begin. Step number one, open your software, either PowerPoint or Keynote, and create a new project. Step number two, begin to type your message in quick one-liners in a large enough text so you can see it from a distance. Make sure to use as many slides as necessary. Step number three, if you're using Keynote, you can actually record the slideshow to play as if you are actually saying it in the program itself. Just go to File, then Record Slideshow. If you're using PowerPoint, click File, then Record Movie. Actually go through your slides and read it as you click through the presentation. This will set the time of transition for the slides and allow it to flip through automatically as if you are naturally saying it. Remember, that's only when you're prepping the project and make sure that when you're about to start recording on your camera that you turn off your sound. Step number four. After setting the time of the slides, position the laptop under the camera. This will give the illusion that you are speaking directly into the camera, allowing you to express your message clearly and flawlessly. Step number five. When ready, hit record on the camera and press play on the presentation. For you PowerPoint users, watch the video you created. Now if you're having trouble keeping up with the slides, then make sure that you consider using a remote to slide your way through the presentation as you are recording. If you have a MacBook, then you've probably already been provided with a mini remote. If you have a PC, there are many different options for you to use and I suggest you look for those at your local electronics store. Now. All that is left is to transfer your information from the camera into your computer and start the editing process. Remember, it will take a handful or more videos for you to get this down and even more if you decide to wean your way off the teleprompter style. But nevertheless, as you continue to shoot your videos and capture your film, the process only gets easier and easier, not to mention your skill increases as well. Well, that's it guys. That's my how-to tutorial, and if you want to know more powerful tips and tricks, please feel free to check out my blog at DerekAragwin.com. And if you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. It's appreciated. This is Derek Aragwin signing off. You have a wonderful day.